Good morning. So today we're going to talk about the shape of stool, the shape of poop. And as you see, this Bristol stool chart has seven types. See if you find yourself in each individual type. I'm going to let you take a look at this and then you can see if you're type one, type two, type three, type four, type five, six, or seven. Can you tell me where the normal uh, shape would be? Yes, probably between three and four, but right in this little section. All right. So there's a lot of information here, but I kind of want to review a little bit. Uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll do three, one through three today. Tomorrow we'll do four to five and then six to seven the next day. All right. So type one. Well, this is, as you see here, they're little tiny pebbles. And, um, and the reason for this is possibly because um, there's a decreased amount of bacteria in your intestinal tract and because of the bacteria missing, you cannot retain as much water. Therefore, all the water is extracted out, it becomes lumpy and painful and unfortunately, with this type of case, you have an increased amount of chances to, for a bleed and um, you know, I think all this could be changed if you worked on your pre and probiotics and of course your fiber. All right, now the second one is type two. This kind of looks like a sausage and it is lumpy. But again, with this one, like in type one, what happens is your body does not have the right bacteria. So all the the, the water gets pulled out as it goes through the intestinal tract. But the problem here is not only is the water pulled out, but also it clumps together and it becomes hard. And as it goes through the intestinal tract, this might be a cause for um, hemorrhoid, uh, what's well, called a hemorrhoidal prolapse, which means that the hemorrhoids prolapse through and um, it will irritate the intestinal wall, causing problems. Another condition that could be with this would be diverticulitis. I'm sorry, diverticulosis. Lytus would be the inflammation, which of course it could happen with that as well. But the sad part about this, you can get fissures, which means a cut in the intestinal tract, and even worse, a perforation, which means the intestine becomes perforated and things leak out into the abdominal cavity. Okay, type of th type three. It's kind of like the type one and two, again, a decreased of amount of bacteria. But this time, the stool moves through the intestinal tract a little faster. And so there's, um, there's a little bit more gas where in type one and type two, there's very little gas. Now, how do you take care of these? Increase fiber, increase um, probiotics and prebiotics, and of course, eat uh, smaller amounts and drink lots and lots of water. All right, let's talk about type four and five tomorrow. Have a good day.